Hey, here's a look at the game show scoreboard. First thing we're gonna do is up here in the top corner, we're gonna click the on button. And when you do that, it's gonna automatically send it full screen to the second monitor. If you have multiple displays connected, then you can click on the screen dis display, uh, the screen selector here, and it will show you all the displays that are connected to your computer. There's also a, a, an option for windowed. And what windowed will let you do is let you actually drag it around. And there's a scale feature where you can actually scale it down or scale it up to fit whatever your, uh, your needs might be. So for now, we're just gonna put it on to display two, do it automatically out to there. The main parts of the, uh, the game show scoreboard is you have a, a clock, then down below that you have, in this section, is the actual scoreboards, then off to the right here, you have the, uh, the buzz-in system. So we're gonna talk about all that later, but for now, we're just gonna run through and look at the setup and the options down here on the left side. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, to set this game up is you wanna decide how many uh, players or contestants you're gonna have. So if you pick on that, you pick one to four. If you click one, then you'll see everything here will gray out. You only have one, uh, one option selected. And then up on the scoreboard, you see it's just the one person. But you can also pick two or three or four. So we'll still leave it at four for now. Now you can also, you'll see that that grays out. We try to turn off things that you don't need and gray them out and hide them on the control screen. So if I turn off the clock, you'll see it turns off on the big screen, but it also grays out in this section right here. So if you don't need a clock, you can just turn that right off. If you don't want the scoreboard and you want just the clock, well then you can do that as well. And the buzzing system too. Some people don't want the buzzing system, so we'll turn that off. And you'll notice right above the, the scoreboard, or above each contestant on the scoreboard, you'll see that little option turn on and off. And that's just an LED indicator to show uh, who's buzzed in. Now below that we also have keyboard scoring and one, two, three, four. And we'll go more into more detail on this later. But the buzz-in system, essentially it lets the people like buzz in like Japarity style. And then the keyboard scoring, and you'll see right here uh, in, the, um, in the user interface, uh, those, it tells you one and up, two to the left, three down, and four to the right. And that will switch the buzzing system to the person name. So either the scoring system is going to be the person scoring it and indicating who, who buzzed in, like if it was Andy, Bailey, Carmen, or Dave, or they can actually buzz and they get a point for every time they score in if you're in keyboard scoring. If you want to use the buzz-in system or the keyboard scoring, you'll have to have the clock running to make that, uh, to make that start. And then um, right below that you'll see a 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's if you do have keyboard sc scoring turned on uh, and you want to uh, use the number keys, you can actually use just the 1, 2, 3, or 4. We added that because some people were asking about that for certain hardware devices that needed that. But if you want to type something in, then you might want to turn that off because the one through, if you want to type someone's name in and it's a one, then the buzzer will go off. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Now we're gonna go into the options where we can start customizing. Right now we got we have four players and it's set to the, the layout is on middle, but you can also put that up to the top or you can push it down to the bottom and you'll see that the, the clock is automatically adjusting for wherever uh, we position or wherever we lay out the, uh, the scoreboard. So you can also go to full screen and it takes up the full screen. Now we also have, what's kind of cool, is we have these custom options. And so with these, you can actually just take your mouse right there and just drag these into wherever you want. You can scale them, move them around. So you can move them, you can move the clock if you want to. And so uh, we'll show a couple use cases for this in a little bit. But for the most part, and you can also scale them up right here. You can scale just the scoreboard up and down, or you can score the clock up and down. Now you also get an option. Down here, down here at the bottom, where we turn this on, you now have the option to turn off uh, the names, or have it just be names, or just be score, or be both. So you have both, name, score. We'll put it for both right now, and you'll see all that. Now, while you're, well, I'll go back to the, uh, let's go back to that middle option. It's kind of like that one. Uh, right below here, as we continue working down the options list, uh, the next thing is the frame. You can turn that frame on and off if you want to go more generic to match your game. You can also turn off the dollar signs on or off. So if you want to do just a points-based game, then you'll turn the dollar sign off there, or you can make it worth lots of money. You can also have a negative. So if someone, um, if they've gone into the negative, you can also turn them off where it's impossible to go below zero if your game needs that. Now this is a really cool feature here, is the background. Now if you turn off right now, you'll see it just looks like the screen back here in the back just looks like it's going to black. But what's happened is it's actually, that's showing my desktop. So if I have another game here uh, up, like say they score, uh, the game show spinner, if I turn that on, now when I turn on the, uh, the background, turn that off, now you can see it back there in the back. So then I would just go here to my layout and put that to, um, to bottom, and I can turn my clock off up here at the top, and now you'll see it's set up really nicely for, for a game show. And you can actually, uh, whichever game you have selected, that's where the keyboard will, will be using. So I can 
spin that here that if I select the Instrument Scoreboard, then I can come back in here and be adding and changing scores while that's going off. So it's really cool to be using both, uh, be using two apps at the same time. So you want to do a different game, you're going to play, and you want to be able to see the entire wheel. Then what you can do is then you can go back here to this custom options back here in our options right here on the game show scoreboard and we go back to that custom options and now we can go in and drag those around and, and have the people's name score right there all the way around it so it's really cool to be able to customize the layout for what you're doing so that's the basic overview of the game show scoreboard next up we're going to make another video that's going to go into more detail for how to use the clock uh, the scoreboard and get all the uh, wires punched in for the buzz-in system. So check back on that if you want more information, but hopefully this got you started with the game show scoreboard.